are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time Here's a shout out to a few of the people that support this channel on Patreon. Beth, Patricia, Angela, Johnny, Brittany, Nancy, Susan, Amy, Michelle, Susan, Latasha, Sandy, Nicole, Melinda, Maria, Annie, Hillary, Carol, Dixie, Peggy, Kathy, Amanda, Shauna, Rose, Anissa, Bonnie, Margaret, Andrea, Karen, Wanda, Judy, Janet, Diane, Beth, Julie, Debbie, Lisa, Marta, Kathleen, Maria, Lynn, Maria, Anita, Bobby, Lori, Diane, Terry, Melinda, Kathy, Betsy, Cindy, Nancy, Carla, Linda, Connie, Linda, Joanne, Sherry, and Huntress Haberts, Patricia. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Hello, we are um, live yeah. here on YouTube and on Twitch, if you're on Twitch, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, and tonight is Alex's last day with us. I'll say it like that. <laughs> it's this... his last Thursday Night Live for a while. He is going to go back home to uh, Georgia. Yeah, So for a little while. <laughs> for a little while. He'll be back in March. Um... What was I just going to show you guys? That? No, I was going to show them. Oh, I wanted them to know that uh, Alex, thank you to a lot of you who subscribe to his channel. He has now reached a thousand subscribers, but his app is still not letting them go live. So sometimes yeah. it just takes time. But because he has a thousand subscribers, he's going to do a giveaway in his channel. I am. Yes. A $100 gift card to Amazon. Yeah. Sponsored by me, his yeah. mom. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> um, so I'm going to give you a link to his channel. If you subscribe, click the bell. You don't have to watch all his videos, but some of them are very entertaining. And some of them are very informative. And he might do a, some more crafting on his channel. So I will. subscribe right. to his channel. And uh, there is no way to enter the giveaway yet. You'll have to subscribe, click the bell, and find out when his video is to uh, enter the giveaway. It won't be hard. No. Okay. We just appreciate everybody wanting to do a giveaway over there. So today we're going to do a bag of a bag for infusible ink. And I'm going to be using pens with infusible ink. I've already written the pens, but then I haven't cut out the sheets. We're going to use the pens and the infusible ink sheets at the same time in one press. So I want to show you how to do that and um, maybe some precautions to take while doing that. So hopefully you'll learn something today. There's, uh, I have so much infusible ink and I did so many videos in a row. I was like so addicted to it and I still have so much stuff. I keep buying more stuff because it's amazing and I love it and it's fun. So I thought, hey, let's do some infusible ink. And we got a cool new file that I worked on today. So let me show you the file. I share this file with everybody who supports my channel. Now on YouTube, it's everyone who supports my channel at $4.99 or more. On Patreon, it's everyone who supports at $2 or more and Facebook at $4.99 or more. There are three different ways to support to get the files. There are links in the description below. Thank you, Sonia, for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. Um, and so let's go over here. I'm going to show you. Here's Alex's channel. Yeah. Okay. But where's my... There it is. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. And this Aldi part is cut out. I don't have it that way because I did a trick and I want to cut out this outside entire piece. So that's why you can't see through it. But we will be able to see through it. And I thought for those of my supporters who don't want to use infusible ink or want to use any bag they want, 
I also made this that you can use an iron on. I really like this one too. But so this Aldi here is going to look, they're going to look the same, but the reasons I did this different than this one. And I think you'll see that once we cut it out. Um, and I wanted to show you how to do this today. So if you're doing this, you probably don't want to cut out both of them at once. Don't click the X. It makes it go away. What you have to do is click the little eye right here because we're not going to be cutting that one. Uh, let me show you what we're going to be cutting it with today. Okay, so I'm using this one. I was going to use a solid color because I'm just using blue. But the solid colors, I don't have all of the infusible ink. I know. I usually buy Shots. everything. Yeah. yeah. But I didn't. I have a lot. I have four of some of the colors. Uh, so I thought I would use this blue because it kind of matches the Aldi. And don't ask what font that Aldi is. It is two fonts in Design Space that I also had to weld and slice each letter. Some letters are different fonts. And to make it look like the newest Aldi logo, I, I had to do some slicing and dicing on it. Um, so we're going to be doing this color on the blue. And then I also already wrote with this font and I mirrored it. Are you proud of me that I remembered to mirror? I am. So we're gonna put that there, but we're going to add the pieces from this right on top of this paper, okay? And I also wanna tell you, if you have questions about the new Cricut Design Space app, tonight, what is today? The Thursday, the what? The 23rd. 23rd. Um, it will be available later if you can find it. It's hard to find videos on Facebook. In my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, all day today we have been answering questions about the new app. So I'm going to go live in that group. I might be a little tired, but I'm going to go live and I'm going to answer every single question I see about the new Cricut Design Space app because there are rumors that are not true, that are flying around. People are freaking out. You got nothing to freak out about. No worries. So I'll be answering that in my group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. Um, I was going to share a link. There, I got a link. Okay. So there's a link to my group. And, oh, let me show you. Okay, so I opened up that box of infusible ink. If you've not used infusible ink or you're afraid, don't be afraid, just try it. So it comes in this black thing to keep moisture out. You wanna keep as much moisture out as possible. I'm gonna cut this with scissors, show you what's inside. Pretty. And what you see here is not what you will see on your project. See how bright that is? See how this is not so bright? It even looks different colored. It's not. This will turn out exactly like that. It does. When you get black of this, it looks brown. So just remember, it does not look like this. See how it's faded and bright? Faded is how it looks on the roll. It also comes with butcher paper. We're going to be using piece of butcher paper today. For every sheet of infusible ink sheets, you get a piece of butcher paper. This one only comes with two, so you only get two sheets. You can reuse them if you don't, if you don't. If you don't. If you don't have ink on them, you can reuse them. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so this looks really light. It kind of looks purplish, but it's going to be this darker blue. Wait, it's so bright. There, see those different colors? They're the same color. So we're gonna be using this. Alex has never used this transfer sheet before. So I'm gonna kinda make him kinda do it. He's yeah. a little scared, just like you guys would be. So I'm gonna be here to help answer questions. There's also this little, where's the camera? Oh. <laughs> the little, you know, 
silicone thingy. Silicone. <sighs> Always put that back with it. It attracts moisture. It does something with moisture. And you also get this little square. This little square you can use to test materials. Some people save them and sew them together. You can make labels with it and sew it on your clothing or uh, quilts or anything like that. Um, or just test it. Okay. All right. So we are going to put this. We're going to go over here to the. That's the wrong. Wrong one. <laughs> okay. Move this stuff. So this is the pen I used. I used the black pen, the medium point black. Here's the butcher paper. We are going to be using infusible ink, heat resistant tape, flamingo not included. We're going to be using the lint roller. We're going to be using the large easy press and this one. This a little trick on this one. Uh, and we have the bag. So here's the little label for the bag. Cricut infusible ink bag. Here's the bag. Has a nice big bottom. And we're gonna, but first we have to cut this. So let's set this to the side. Oh, wait, there's nothing. Okay, Alex. Well, wait, what? You are- I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> You are going to put this on here. You gotta take the plastic off first. Yes. Can you do that? Yes. And I'm gonna answer questions. Questions really fast. I think that's okay. Here, do it this way. Okay. Is that 12 by 12 sheet? Yes. Okay. Just try to get the chop a little straight. We're only be using a little bit. We're not using the whole sheet. Well. That's okay. It's definitely not straight. That's okay. Leave it on there. Okay. It's, it's definitely well, stuck. Go from where you got it stuck I, and push it in. I know. As long as it won't cut off there, it's fine. Okay, now don't press too much, because if you have anything on your hands, that, let me see your hands. There's nothing on my hands. Okay, show the camera. See, he's good. Um, if your hands were like sweaty or wet, or you just no. touched something, it might take off some of the ink. So that's something we have to be careful about. Okay, we gotta go to Design Space to cut this out. Okay, so I hid the other one I don't want. So I'm going to click Make It. Do, 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 do. I mirror it. Oh yeah, I told him to remind me to mirror it. So this is what this one looks like, and we've already done that to save time today. And I did mirror it. You have to mirror it like that. But we're going to do this one, and uh, we're going to mirror it. There we go. So I'm gonna hit continue. Can you guys hear Kobe snoring? And do I have an infusible ink transfer sheet right here? And we'll just leave it at default and I think we're good. Okay, so load the mat. Yes, Alex already has a goodie uh, bag of supplies and tools. I have so much extra stuff. And you can't see anything cutting right now, so when it's done cutting, we'll unload and then show you the mat before he does anything else with it.
Welcome, Colleen. You can now use all my emojis. And you also get my projects. There's hundreds. I think there's, I don't, I don't know, maybe four or five hundred. They're all Crooked Design Space projects. All you have to do is click on them and it opens up Design Space. And at the end of this month, they're going to open up in the new app. Woohoo! Yay. Alex, the t-shirt you wore when you did the class, is that in Design Space or was that was that a chalk one? Uh, I think that was chalk. It was a chalk couture transfer. It was uh, chalk couture ink. Yeah. Welcome, Kelly. So we're done with this? Yes. So we're going to go over here. Okay. They can't see that. There. Now, I did something special to this file i had this now not on the other project the one we hid will not cut the same as i cut this one i had this cut three times around the outside so we don't have to like weed all this off or we don't have to cut this extra it's just really easy for us let me get this off the mat yeah. first so what i did I'm going to turn it over. I set this to cut out of the transfer on this project, just this one, to use for infusible ink. Let's just set this to the side and we'll put that away later. Okay. So uh, now this still has the transfer on it. Welcome, Lisa. And I wanted it that way because we're going we're going to glue this to the piece of paper. I think, like, they said tape it. No, this we have to glue. But yeah, I think that's how I did it before, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the outside piece. And we're going to peel out the letters. Now, because we're doing that, we can actually save those letters for another project. I still have a lot of pieces saved. And um, weeding and fusible ink is much different than iron-on or vinyl. It's like peeling out paper, see? Like these are still usable. I could stick these on my project if I wanted to. I'm on your project. What project? The project we're doing. I mean, if, or any project. And we're going to do this one. Uh oh, that A, I'm peeling that up. There we go. There. So we're all weeded. It's so easy, and so many people think it's so difficult to weed infusible ink. The reason they think that is because they're thinking of it the same way that we did it before. Melanie, you're not lost yet. I haven't done anything yet. All I did was cut this out and weeded out the letters and we're going to use this so don't be lost yet you might have got lost saying i'm going to glue it to the other piece i haven't done it yet i'm going to show you everything okay so here is our part that we wrote with the infusible ink pen we mirrored it and we put it on laser copy paper we are not printing it i did not print on my computer the cricket wrote it with this pen okay the cricket infusible ink pen it wrote it and i 
and it's just on laser copy paper that you would use in a laser printer. I did not use a laser printer. So we're going to put this on here and I'm going to glue it there. Okay, I don't remember if I glued the backing on here before of how, because I know I did this before. Did, did you guys see my project um, called Wet My Plants? It was a baby onesie and it had some plants that were drawn. No, we gotta try to get this on straight. It had some plants that were drawn on it. And, um, oh, and some infusible ink sheets. Okay, now that does not look even. There. Okay. And then we're going to stick this one on here. Got to make sure these are really flat. Like that they're not going to, th I think they're okay. They're pumping up a little, but I think they'll be okay. Does that look straight? I think they're good. Close enough. Okay, so now let's prepare, take that away, for our infusible ink. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna go over to Design Space. And we're going to go to the heat guide. This heat guide, there is a link in the description below to the heat guide, as there is on all my infusible ink. So, um, we're going to use this. I'm going to also use this a little bit, but we're just going to use this first. So what you do is you click, I have already done this and looked to make sure everything was the same. The infusible ink pen and marker or, and transfer sheet are, they're the same temperatures and pretty much the same. So then you go down here and choose tote bag. So you, you can use this with iron on or anything. You can choose from these different things and then you choose the material because the, now I only have these options for material because I'm using infusible ink. If I used iron on, I'd have many options because the heat and timing depends on what material you're putting it on. It's not always the same. Okay, let me look at the questions real fast. Um, I see. I see the people, oh, there it is. Um, okay, Carissa says, so I don't understand why the old, I think she means Aldi looks different in design space. Um, let me move this over. So we're done with this file. The reason it doesn't look any different. You just can't see through the letters here because I set this to cut three times. So it has two boxes attached to it to cut out the design so I did not have to cut the infusible ink. So it cut out perfectly how I wanted it. And then we're going to go here so once we choose our easy press, our material, and what we're putting it on, we hit apply. 
And then it shows us right here, it says 385. So Alex, turn on the Easy Press. It's already set to 385 and 40 seconds. And it says light pressure. So you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it and a warm peel. Um, if you are in Canada or somewhere else, you can click on Celsius. So remember that if you think this is much lower than it should be, make sure you have it on Fahrenheit if you are in the United States. And if your Easy Press is on Fahrenheit, you can switch it to Celsius on your machine. Uh, and then it tells you all the supplies you need. The Easy Press 2, the butcher paper, the infusible ink, the tote bag, white cardstock, which I don't have, I mean, I do have, but not right here. Uh, and the Easy Press mat, you need lint roller and tweezers. The tweezers are to weed the infusible ink. I used my fingers instead. Preparation. Uh, we're preheating the Easy Press. Place mat inside tote bag. Okay, now Alex, don't do it yet, but pay attention because I'm gonna have you do it, okay? So we're going to place the mat, the Easy Press mat, inside the tote bag. Not yet. And then we're going to insert cardstock on top of the Easy Press mat to prevent it from bleeding through to the mat. Then we're going to lint roll the tote bag. Then we're going to cover the tote bag with butcher paper larger than the heat plate. And we're going to preheat for 15 seconds. And then we're gonna remove the butcher paper from the tote bag and we're done with our preparation. And then we go to application. Can we, so, can we do one at a time here? <laughs> no, it's more fun to see. Let's move this out of the way. I don't have cardstock. I will get you cardstock. So this goes. It can be any white cardstock. Inside the bag. That. This is the 12 by 12 Easy Press mat. So it goes inside. I need a, a cardstock. That goes on this thing, right? That goes inside. Let's see how much of that I remembered. All right. Use yeah, the Easy Press shirts are for the women they're very fitted so they seem much smaller they're for people who like tight shirts so if you don't like a tight fitted shirt then you need a larger size so do you know why you're doing this so the show them those little Can they things see? uh Really. It was a brand new sheet. So there's like this was a pieces. brand new tote that we just opened up today. You need to use a lint roller because you do not want to press anything into it. Okay. I think you should use one even before you iron on. Um, the way the ink works, the ink, when it gets heated, it turns into a gas and that gas gets pushed into the fabric. And if you have lint on it, that gas is not, it's, that will block the ink from getting into it. And then when you wash it, it'll wash away and it will not be 100% infusible ink. Okay, so now we need butcher paper to put on top, right? Yes. Very good. See, you're remembering everything. Which way does it go? It doesn't matter. Uh, preheat the, for 15 seconds? Yes. So then we put this on there for 15? Or no. Do we need to like do something real quick after that? No. Okay. The reason we're preheating is to not to preheat. What? Did I lose you guys? <laughs> I lost Alex. The reason we're preheating is to get the moisture out of here. Okay. So the full gas will be in here. It's like um Move your fingers. If if it was wet. If something's wet, it does not absorb what it's supposed to absorb. Right. So we want no moisture, so the infusible ink will absorb the best. And you have to use butcher paper because it absorbs moisture. Teflon will not absorb moisture. Um, parchment paper will not absorb moisture like 
butcher paper does. Okay, so and no. you never want to use freezer paper on it or wax paper will just ruin your project. Okay, so now I put this on here for 15 seconds. Yes. So we're using the Big Easy Press because I want to make sure it completely covers our design. I'm okay, so the button until it it gets to like 25. That's how, just leave it. And then remove that. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go back over here because we finished all of the preparation. So now we're gonna go to application. You place design, I keep wanting to say, design face down, liner side up. Now, because we're using the paper, it would be the paper face down. Uh, cover with clean butcher paper. We can use the same butcher paper we used and press with light pressure for 385 for 40 seconds slowly lift the press slowly remove butcher paper slowly remove liner while warm no if transfer sheet remains unshirt remove with tweezers it means tote not short shirt okay we are going to do a few different uh, things uh, just a bit differently um because we are using this paper. Thank you, Deb. So put that down where we think we want it. Now, hold okay. on, no. The easy press mat is not far enough down here. We have to fix the easy press mat. So otherwise, it, we can only go down here. We gotta push it down. Do we need to re? So we wanna make sure That it's down. Do we need to redo the 15 second there? No. Okay. The reason is because it's it's been preheated. I mean, the moisture's out of it. So we want to make sure that our project is within the easy press mat. We don't want any of our project hanging off the mat. Right. So be sure of that. Okay. Now go ahead and put it down. You keep I know, I feel like this paper is, it's okay. Oh, and I'm gonna turn on my Easy Press Mini to the third one, the hottest way it can get. Is that okay? Yeah. Are we taping this down? Yes. I feel like we have to do this in a hurry, but we're- Ouch. Yeah, I know. That thing's really sharp. Okay, be careful of the flamingo. Wait, don't put it there. I don't want to put it close to where there's letters. I want to put it like in between. Like not close. But why I was shocked you said something because you didn't stop me when I almost put it up here. I didn't see you almost oh. put it up there. This is heat resistant tape. It's just going to keep this down. Because in through here is where I glued on the infusible ink sheets. And because that's an extra sheet on top of this, they're not the same level. So I am going to, after we get done pressing it, I am going to go and use the Easy Press Mini around those spots to make sure it got down there really good around where the infusible ink sheet is. All right, can we do this part now? Yes. Because it, it looks like it's starting to seep. No, that's fine. So Go light ahead. pressure? Yes. For how long? You just, for 40 seconds. Do not move it at all. If you move it, you'll get ghosting. Okay. 
Do, 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 do. <coughs> yes, you can reuse the uh, heat resistant tape. Then slowly lift. Yep. Okay, now don't put that on the cord. I was checking. Okay, so scoot over a minute and I'm gonna do this part. So I just wanna make sure that this got on here really good around the infusible ink sheets. Watch the cord, it's pulling on that corner. Okay. I can feel where uh, this is. And you can move this around. What? <gasps> you know what we forgot? You didn't s explain what butcher paper? Yeah. We forgot the butcher paper on top. You, didn't, you like started to explain two different things and then stopped. <laughs> what did I say? I was explaining. I went you said over that you it could with feel this. something and then you said oh, you didn't say I what can, you could feel. I can, you can feel the infusible ink sheets. I said that. Oh, no. I can feel <laughs> them under here so I know where that is. All right. Now it's a... Uh, well, look underneath here. What's it lift, lift it up. Let me see if the... Did it transfer to the... No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did you see what we forgot? We forgot our butcher paper. And that's why you can kind of see the smearing from me smearing it with this. Um, so we should lift that off there. Yeah. Slowly. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. That Aldi didn't uh -oh. get on there real well. Let's see. Okay, let me show you. Uh, you shouldn't have moved it because now it's not. No, it'll down be okay. Anymore. See that Aldi did not do as well. So if you would have left it, that tape up there. I know, but I wanted to show them. Let they me... could have taken our word for it. Okay, wait. I got this corner done right. Let's use this and see. Now you can, you know how we said don't move it around? You can do it with the Easy Press Mini. The Easy Press Mini does have an extra coating on the bottom to make it move smoothly. Now let's let it cool for a second. Read some questions. Let's get some scoot up and move. Yes, that is the reason I taped it down. They don't say to tape it down, but I did because I knew I would be using the Easy Press Mini on it and moving it around. You do not have to use the little iron, but it helps sometimes. Okay, let's see if it's cool enough. It's not perfect, but. Let me try to get more. There's more ink on there. And I don't know because the way I glued it on there. So we're gonna do it again. Just over that word Aldi. It gives it a rustic look. Like That's it's been true. used a lot.
I could probably, if I wanted to, cut another one and match it up right on top of it. Oh, it looks better now. Yeah. Let me, that top corner. Yeah, let me get that. I can get it. I know I can. I'm going to push harder. And then I'll go over here somewhere. Maybe the glue wasn't drying completely. Maybe I should have just taped it on there, like underneath. You can't yeah. tape it on top because you'll... There, that looks pretty good. This is my Aldi bag. I forget it all the time. Isn't it cute? This is my Aldi bag. I forget it all the time. Aldi time. Aldi time. Now, I also want to show you in design space. Can we turn off these things though? Yeah, I never turn off my stuff. My easy presses. If you want to change this font, you can ungroup this then detach then each one of these lines are a different text box so you just double click it and there's my text um and you can change the font this is dj jur oh, that's how you can change the font yeah i always like, just got rid of it and then start over Oh no, you can just change it. <laughs> I couldn't if, figure it out before. <laughs> if you have not ungrouped or anything, and in my projects, I really try to make them. I'm going to put it back. Well, I guess it doesn't matter because I just won't just save, don't save it. it. Uh, you can change it. So I try to make it so you guys can change the fonts if you want. You can change the words. You can change anything you want. If you want the other project, you can also do the same thing. I didn't do anything to these fonts, so you just have to detach, <coughs> excuse me, and then detach again, and then double click and you can change it and change the font. This one is Dom Casual Standard Regular. Okay, do we have any questions? Alex is drinking his pineapple, pineapple juice box. Juice. <laughs> it's delicious. Someone said something at the, near the bottom. I missed it. What paper is Oh, it's laser paper. Yeah. Okay, now tonight, after this video, if you're a member of my Cricut Design Space group uh, and you want to learn more about Design Space app it's nothing new so if you've watched my other videos on youtube there were three of them that we talked i think there's actually four that we talked about cricut design space new app i've answered all the questions but in my group cricut design space on facebook they don't always watch my videos so some of them don't know how to use youtube so i'm going to go over there because they're freaking out and we're going to help answer their questions so they all understand i know most of you already understand yeah, um, we did, for those of you who didn't know, um, go down. So Cricut has new pens. Oops, that's a calling. New Cricut Infusible Ink pens. They have some double ones. The double ones you do need to store this way. If you store them one way, they're going to be dry up here at the top. Um, I put them all in here just because 
they're freehand and they don't fit into the machine so i wanted them separate than my other machine so you can store them point down or than horizontal other, than your other pens yeah my other infusible ink pens fit in the machine these do not fit in the machine if you are not an artist like me you can watch my visit my video my video on these pens i show you how to use them without being an artist yeah i was in that video right that's the one that we made the coasters yeah yeah we'll do some more projects with these pens too in march <laughs> well i might do them before march yeah. you can pick out like three colors that you don't like and i'll do them at home oh you want to take some yeah and I'll just do a three color thing. Well, we'll see. <laughs> um, Oma, if you're a member and it doesn't show up, make sure you only have one account. Um, click on your memberships in YouTube. I'm not sure how to help with the YouTube membership. It could be that you're logged into a different account. Um, do we have any other questions? If you have more questions and you're watching the replay, you can always ask if, um, you can always ask in the comments below and I try to answer those questions. But I really like how I could use that mini on fixing that because that top Aldi did not come out as well as it should have. Oh yeah, it looks a lot better now. All right, guys. I think that's it. You want to talk about the new app? Um, okay, Betty, offline fonts. Do you have to download each font separately? Okay, the offline app is not offline. It's also online. But if you want to use it offline you and you want to use Cricut fonts, you do have to download the fonts to use offline. Uh, the fonts on your computer will always be available offline. You don't have to download those. Okay. Uh, Cheryl Clifton says, can you set the box to cut twice? I did set the box to cut three times. So the box around the Aldi cut three times. Facebook link. Yes. Let me grab the Facebook link. Where'd my chat go? There it is. I got behind my window. Um, so to, let me find, to cut the Aldi three times, oh, here it is, yeah, on this one I did not do that, that's why I was confused, on this one, uh, so what I did is, I'll duplicate this really fast, I'm going to detach it. And see, it's these three boxes. So pay attention and then we're going. So I had this set like this. And so what I did is I duplicated this. So I had two like that. I hit contour at the bottom. I clicked on all the little holes. So I would have a solid piece. Let me get that triangle. That, yeah. I would have a solid piece of the outside. Then I duplicated that, and let's move this Aldi to the front. And I'm selecting the three. I have selected the Aldi, the two boxes. I'm clicking Align, and I'm clicking Center, and I'm clicking Attach. Now, the word, the letters will cut out once, but the outside word will cut out three times. So it will cut through your transfer paper like I wanted it to. <coughs> okay. 
Does it have to be white or can it be green and use the black ink? You can use any color ink you want. But does does it have to be white, like a sh white shirt? Uh, it does not have to be a white shirt, but whatever sh color shirt you have, uh, you have to use a darker transfer. You can't like put yellow on a different, a darker shirt. It, it, you won't see it because it's ink. It's not iron on. And whatever color shirt you have, the A the will be the A. So if you wanted these A, the letters to be white, the only way to do that is to put it on a white shirt. If you do it on a gray shirt, then they will be gray. Uh, we left the easy press mat inside the bag while we pressed it. You can use any color of ink you want. I just use the blue because that's the Aldi color. All right, guys, I think I answered all your questions. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell to make sure you're notified, especially if you like uh, mystery boxes and you like cuties and you like to see new projects and you want to learn design space. You really want to hit that bell and watch, at least get notified for my videos. All right, glad you guys learned so much tonight. I appreciate you being here. And um, see you Saturday morning. He won't be here. He w will be here, but he won't be in the video. Right. We have company coming and uh, some of his cousins. And we will see you Saturday morning. And you'll see him again on his channel. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Toodles. Bye.